Hey guys, welcome to another commentary. This is once again from the N18 battles played on the 19th of August, bottom right hand corner. We have Gypsy starting as the Yellow Terran, upper left hand corner. We have Crossy starting as the Red Zerg. Check out Crossy at C R O S S I E E on Twitch TV, bottom right hand corner, Gypsy at Gypsy93. I wonder if that's his birth year. It's a typical thing. This is on Polypoid, everybody's favorite map these days. Last match, and I, I'm curious to see, because it almost feels like the Terran players are feeding off one another in these matchups and looking for a way to beat this two-hatch opening style that Crossy has been fielding. I feel like it works... I feel like Crossy's just a little bit ahead in execution. Maybe it's having those additional Zerglings with speed and that threat on the front door. I'm not sure. But comparative to Machines, Carapace... Ooh... This is an interesting play. So Gypsy, what is going on? Okay, first of all, map reveal to explain what's going on here. Gypsy going for a weird proxy barracks location, but he's putting the barracks at his mineral only and hiding it there. Perhaps wanting to disguise the fact that he's going for... trying to convey as though he's going after an earlier command center. But instead, he's in fact opened up eight racks across that mineral only, and a bit of a, a hidden location. This is a four-player map, so it's going to be difficult to scout. It looks like there is a tw ooh, 12th hatch, comparatively. And this might be... I don't know, this is crossy, and there's a lack of scouting, so it's not a guaranteed build order win, but this is a pretty strong opener for Gypsy, versus, especially going up against 12th hatch. Moving out with double SCV scout now. There's not a lot... It's It's hard. It's possible, but it's hard to fight this back. Spawning pool up, extractor down. And actually, it doesn't look like it's going to be pure 8 racks. It looks like it's just kind of a forward racks, because I'm not seeing the second barracks being built. Drone scout seeing this, and I think this drone is in fact going to see this racks at a kind of an off location. Interesting build overall. So drone making its way. It's going to okay, So it's going to see this forward barracks. It's going to see a lack of a second barracks. And I'm curious what this is going to provoke from Crossy. So typically this would be just double barracks. And so the barracks actually lifting off and floating back. Was this just to get a Marine at a forward location and have... So you got two Marines, two SCVs, and a third trailing Marine coming up shortly. A bunker trying to be built on the front door. Crossy pulling off a lot of drones, catching it, to go ahead and engage this. He wants to try to box out those Marines. Looks like the scouting drone able to get behind this and pin those Marines in. The Marine trying to run back across. That third Marine has stopped for whatever reason. And it looks like that's going to be a cancellation on Gypsy. So well defended by Crossy overall. Taking a little bit of damage on his SCV. So he's going to lose a handful of minerals from the bunker. That's going to give a bit of early economic control to Crossy overall. Kind of an interesting thought. I, I've seen that done before, but not quite that way. And I kind of like that execution from Gypsy. It did not work out this time, though. Is going to need to land that that barracks and get that those Marines in there. Maybe get a bunker down, because that's six Zerglings making their way down. SCV is boxed out of this front. Second Marine in production. It looks like, like that uh, command center being built to follow this up. Another SCV. Actually, I was really heads up on Gypsy part. Uh, to keep an SCV out there so he can just go ahead and keep that scouting information there. The Zerglings trying to harass this front door. This is a tight seal, the Mickey Mouse seal. The barracks with the... Or I guess mouse seal. Anyway. Point being, those Zerglings are going to have to sit back and wait. Crossy going to shift to a two hatch. And with... He was a little bit... So those drones had to pull off the line. So that slowed down a little bit of mineral production. But I think the larger cost is to Gypsy comparatively. He's already got that engineering bay up. He's got that, that academy building. As far as the timing swing, there's that spire finishing. And his second command center is not yet up. And he's only got a single barracks. And that barracks, keep in mind, has not been pumping marines this entire time. So he's got that wall on the front door. But he's going to need a lot of turrets. And he's going to need those turrets well placed to fend off potential mutilisks. Speed being upgraded behind this. There's going to be a lot of Zerglings potentially on that front door as well. SEV finally killed. 
Drone already in position to go ahead and take a third from Crossy. But essentially, Crossy's going to be in a good position to do two things. One, make Gypsy's life a living hell momentarily. He's just now getting in that second barracks. As the Spire's about two-thirds finished, he's going to have to invest very heavily in turrets to try to push this back. Level 1 weapons and Stim are on the way. Should be able to defend it, but he's not really going to be able to... Even if he does defend it, here is the thing, is I don't know that he's really going to be able to put on pressure towards that third. He's moving out six Marines to try to push those Zerglings back before those Mutalisks come into play. Just trying to create a bit of distraction. Actually, wow. Plopping down two additional barracks before turrets. Mutalisks in production. He needs to plop down turrets now. So maybe... We'll see how this plays out. Maybe he, if he lifts off and just tries to press out with what he has, he can create some degree of threat to pull Whip off. I'm a little bit concerned here, though. Once again, seven Mutalisks in production, level one weapons on those Mutalisks being upgraded. Range is being upgraded. The turret actually canceling. Okay, good. Canceling that third barracks. Sorry, fourth barracks. And going ahead and to get that spare minerals to get the, the turrets up. And now moving those Marines at a position to go ahead and engage the Zerglings. Sneaking up, going ahead and seeing this. And the Mutalisks, yeah, moving down. I think that was a wise decision to go ahead and cancel that to get a little bit more minerals to get uh, some turrets up. Six Mutalisks gathering up, waiting for the seventh. That base in the upper right is up. So here's the thing, even if Gypsy does defend this, Crossy's still in a great position where he's got this base that's way, way, way out of the way. For Gypsy to go after. He's got Mutalisks out on the front and Zerglings underneath <clears throat> to gauge these Medic Marines. The Medic Marines are going to hit level 1 weapons. The Zerglings being invited in on that lift. And they're just diving in, trying to take those turrets out. Mutalisks look like they're going to be able to get that turret. The Marines trying to engage those Mutalisks. Overhead, so a little bit of economic disruption. Two Mutalisks are very, very soft. Gypsy pinned in the corner here. I think Gypsy was lifting off that barracks because he wanted to walk out and create some disruption. Th both those Mutalisks that were soft getting picked off immediately. More reinforcements making their way across. And instead, he's being boxed into this bottom left-hand corner. Another Mutalisk down. You can see where that level and weapons... I like this build. This level and weapons really does soften those Mutalisks up pretty rapidly. That turret being delayed, though. More Mutalisks grouping up. So there's going to be another eight. And once level on weapons kicks in, these Mutalisks can, do sh can make short work of these turrets. And another one getting picked off. Wow. So Gypsy has lost a handful of Marines. He's lost a handful of turrets. But he's also managed to kill a lot of Mutalisks out in the field. Crossy continuing to fill out those Mutalisk ranks. I wonder if he's going to hold back and wait for level 1 weapons before he pushes in. Nope, he's just going to go for it. Continuing to press into this bottom off. He does have that upper right-hand base and his third gas rolling. Gypsy trying to get his own gas up. And you can just see these Marines pocketed in. This is... I think you... And yeah, it's just so difficult to get across this corner. And this is why this can be a very difficult map for Terran. Three turrets there planted. But this is a huge slew of Mutalisks, and level 1 weapons is finished. Lurker upgrade now being built, and that gas still being plummeted down. Gypsy just opting to go ahead and press out with that Medic Marine force. There is an Overlord that can go ahead and see those Medic Marines, and it looks like those Mutalisks are going to pull off and track them. And With this amount of Medic Marines and this amount of Mutalisks, especially, especially with level 1 weapons, Crossy should be able to make short work of what's here. He's going to go ahead and get that Queen's Nest up. He should have that additional gas pulling back to go ahead and push reinforcements. Gypsy not pressing the issue. He does have the double... Well, he's got a single starport in the background. Getting that second starport now and also trying to fill in with what he can. Overlord's going to get picked off overhead. I don't think that was the grouping Overlord. But the Medic Marines, yeah, just kind of dwindling. And it's just kind of... Yeah. Crossy's so good with this. But Gypsy actually finding a good pocket to go ahead and sandwich Gypsy's Mutalisks in. Was able to take one out. Upper right hand base. 
is there. It looks like some Hydros being built. Keep in mind, this is a ramped map, so Mutalisks can buy some time for the... If Mutalisks can buy time, get those Lurkers out in place and get them up on the high ground, it becomes very difficult to evict Zerg from that third gas location. Gypsy trying to keep that Medic Marine in a ball. At least with this, he's kept them away from that natural expansion. That gas finally up. Because of that delay on that gas, I think that's what put that... Uh, that's definitely what put that Science Vessel behind. I kind of like that play from Crossy. He's like, okay, I'm just going to... Because I have Mutalis, because I have level 1 weapons, I'm going to go ahead and harass that gas. Make sure it stays down for as long a period as possible to keep that Science Vessel count a little bit lower in the mid-game. But Crossy doing a good job of just keeping these Medic Marines short, but there's no Lurker here yet. It is just a Hydralisk and a Sutton Colony, so Gypsy's going to have to defend this with Mutalisks alone. Also no Nidus Canal. So Gypsy able to walk up into this third base. There's finally a Lurker. Second Lurker morphing. That single Lurker very quickly getting picked off. Gypsy trying to engage, having a little bit of difficulty finding positioning, more Mutalisks grouping up, going after that gas, able to pick a Mutalisk very quickly out of the air, and now Gypsy walking into this third. Lurker spawning, Hydralisk spawning, those Hydralisks trying to morph to Lurker, but Gypsy finding damage out of all this. The Lurker's finally burning, going to be able to clean this up, but able to do a lot of disruption in the meantime. Particularly in thinning out this Mutalisk grouping overhead. Enforcing a lot of Lurkers to be morphed. More Medic Marines actually making their way up to that upper right-hand corner. I think they need to pop. return back to home base. Science Vessel. Going to get splotched out in the air. This is a very vulnerable Science Vessel as well. And finally, the Lurkers regrouping. Right now, though, Gypsy doing a pretty good job of staying up on top of his macro. Nidus Canal going up for Crossy. Crossy actually just sitting at 40 workers comparatively. Finally has the Lurkers. He does have that Defiler mound up, but not quite in the economic position I think he wanted to be in that mid-game. And I think it part of it is, is he just built so many Mutalisks. So many Mutalisks and had that level 1 weapons upgrade and wasn't quite able to get as much damage done as he wanted to. Three Lurkers there. It looks like Gypsy starting to gather... An attack force towards this upper right maybe wants to take another shot at the high ground and with actually two science vessels might be able to just straight up irradiate through and get another jump into that upper right hand base in the meantime he's got seven barracks up another command center being built to go ahead and grab that third Ooh. taking a step up losing a handful of marines again maybe not seeing it underneath that overlord kind of a classic trick mulus pushing up Scourge picked out of the air. The Zergling's not quite able to get anything done. Crossy forced to at least respect this attack. And Gypsy going to go ahead and take the 6 o'clock base while that army is threatening to that upper right-hand corner. And expand to his mineral only. To go ahead and take a quick economic lead. Some good irradiates overhead. One to clear off that overlord so that he can start irradiating. And actually, that poor Zergling. Poor Zergling. Overlord's still going to try to hide over those Lurkers to buy some time. Oh, do they? I didn't realize that they did damage to the burrowed Lurkers underneath. So one Lurker left, and one Lurker only, I believe. More replacing. Was that lifted off? I didn't... I thought that uh, burrowed Lurkers were defended. Whatever. Six o'clock location having to be canceled. As some Zerglings were able to sneak there and get some damage done. But while that's happening... Classic Eraser in the upper right-hand corner with no Scourge overhead. I like what Crossy did. Fleeing into that Nidus Canal. Looks like Gypsy just going to try to camp on that Nidus Canal to get damage done otherwise. Looking for that Irradiate damage. Two Lurkers pocketed, still on that high ground. Scourge finally up in the air. Going to be able to take out several Science Vessels, but not before those Lurkers are breached. However, the Defiler's there to defend. Dark Swarm dropped, and Gypsy is once again going to be repelled at least to the back interior corner of this base. This attack is not over yet, though. The medics have been wiped out, so it's just going to be Marines stranded. Science Vessel is pushing up as well. See what Gypsy can get done. More reinforcements coming through. While this is happening, Crossy going to go ahead and expand to the bottom left. Nice swarm. 
And the Marine's just going to get obliterated. Nice defense from crossing the upper right-hand corner. Bottom left-hand base is being grabbed by him. That mineral only is now up for Gypsy. He's starting to spread troops all over the map. Again, marching up to the upper right to provide some threat there. It looks like he's also wanting to press this natural expansion. Or, sorry, he's hanging out at the mineral only. I'm not sure if he has eyes on the base in the bottom left-hand corner or not. Crossy pressing out a little bit. Right now, Gypsy way ahead in the supply count. But Crossy still holding on. Medic Marines breaking through. Able to get that Nidus Canal down. Second Nidus is being built. Some Ultralisks, however. Slow Ultralisks making their way down. And they should be able to clean up this Medic Marine force. However, Gypsy smelling blood in the water. Moving the rest of his Medic Marine Force to the Natural Expansion. There's five, what is it, six? Six Ultralisks there. Going to go ahead and drop some Irradiates. Still might be able to do some additional damage. While he's got Crossy Box in, he's going to go ahead and grab his 6 o'clock. And right now, Gypsy in firm control of this match. All he has to do is sit out here. With his Medic Marine Force, keep Crossy boxed in, drop some Irradiates on these Ultralisks and these Defilers. As they're there, Crossy sneaking out a Plague, getting a decent amount of that Medic Marine Ball. Crossy trying to break out. Another Science Vessel down overhead. A good swarm on that front. That Defiler's not long for life, though. Trying to drop what swarms he can to go ahead and push Gypsy off his front door. And Gypsy now has discovered this bottom left-hand base is marching... Another grouping of medic marines there. That should rapidly get taken. Uh, that should be rapidly wiped out. Crossy going to go ahead. Has already established the natural expansion in the upper right hand base though. But Gypsy is everywhere and doing a good job of keeping it. Is just continuing to expand. Get his uh, just play a lot of map control. Really, he's just had firm control. Feels like in this match. Since the mid game, Ultralisk starting to push in. There is a defiler there, dropping a swarm. It's getting irradiated almost immediately, and this is a huge science vessel count as well that Gypsy has overhead. You can go ahead and walk out of these troops, attacking across that three o'clock. A couple Zerglings have managed to sneak through and find the command center. That can easily be lifted off as a protective measure momentarily. But Crossy just trying to throw everything he can. To get Gypsy off his front door so he just can't freeform, just irradiate absolutely everything. I think I missed a couple science vessels getting killed there. Some Zerg, <laughs> those Zerglings. Looks like they're going to get wiped out. Some more Zerglings starting to flood across the field. Crossy at practically half the supply of Gypsy. Gypsy moving those medic marines that just finished off that bottom left-hand corner, so they're hardened veterans moving up to that no that natural expansion. A couple of overlords in the gap. Keep throwing me off. But now, once again, Gyps uh, Gypsy pushing out. Crossy trying to push him back. But the attack forces that he's trying to push Crossy back with just seem to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Gypsy once again engaging to the natural expansion to the right. There's a stack of lurkers there once again. Overlord trying to get overhead. Not quite able to do so. There's a swarm to go ahead and protect that. The medic marines in the left being cleaned up by those ultralists. So Crossy able to defend, but he's not able to stop Gypsy from having additional bases established and continuing to sneak up. There are finally battle cruisers out in the field. Good plague, but that's going to force more Scourge to be dedicated to this. It looks like, yeah, it's not long for life. Battlecruiser operational, Battlecruiser. Goodbye, Battlecruiser. It was good seeing you for a moment. Great plague on the science vessels overhead. Crossy still making a match of it. Unfortunately for him, and I like these bunkers being placed here at the 6 o'clock, trying to flood out more troops again just to try to buy himself some breathing room. But Gypsy has two sizable armies, this walking into that natural expansion, just 
wiping out these Zerglings and these Ultralisks really before they can get any sort of breathing room. And this attack force now pushing up to that upper right hand base. Keep in mind, Crossy's main and natural expansion are not long for life. That Nidus Canal wiped out. With that Nidus Canal down, Gypsy has a big opportunity to break everything here in the upper right. The Science Vessel fleet still overhead. All of them are very, very weak. So they need to be careful. And even here's the thing. Even if Gypsy loses all of this, he's still got two bases up over Crossy. And he can just play the long macroeconomic... Oof, that Spore Colony picking off. It can just tap those and wipe them out. Crossy somehow fighting this... Troop. Is there another Nidus Canal? There is another Nidus Canal at the main. Just pressing this out. This is a big moment in the match. Gypsy's reinforcements coming in. The Zerglings that are trying to reinforce getting wiped out. Another science vessel getting picked off by that Spore Colony to the right. But now there's zero defense force here. Two more science vessels down. But that's GG from Crossy just because he has nothing. Gypsy's economy just absolutely rolling. Twice the supply. He's about to lose his... Going to go ahead and rewind. About to lose... What's left is his, uh, of his mining base in the upper right. And that once Gypsy took out this natural expansion, you could just walk in, wipe that out, and there is basically not just not enough left to stem the tide from that point on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really enjoyed, yeah, Gypsy's troop movement in this match. He really was everywhere on the map. It just seemed like he had pockets of troops that were constantly in... Crossy's face, constantly having these engagements here where the Defiler just not able to drop Swarm or a Plague, just wipe out those Zerglings. You can just see, yeah, this is just happening at a, hand, a step too late and then pushing in with those Zion's Vessels otherwise. Great play from Gypsy overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.